In this lesson, we're gonna talk all about Scrape Owl. I'm gonna explain what it is, how it works, answer the question of whether or not you even need it, and then show you how to get all set up with it. So high level, do you need Scrape Owl? No, you don't need Scrape Owl, but there are some functions inside of ZimWriter that require it. If you want to uh, scrape a YouTube transcript, you want to scrape and bring in YouTube videos into your articles, like a, an embed of a YouTube video. Yeah, you'll need Scrape Owl for that. You want to scrape Amazon, you'll need Scrape Owl for that. You want to Google SERP scrape. There's features that GemWriter will then go to the SERP, bring in the top 10 results, analyze those for SEO boosts and whatnot, and factual information. You'll need Scrape Owl for that. There's also a feature I created called Scraping Surgeon that allows you to surgically isolate information on a page that you want scraped. You'll need Scrape Owl for that. And then finally, there might be some problematic URLs. I don't want to get too technical, but some URLs that would render things that would require a Chrome instance to actually run and render the content so the JavaScript gets merged into the content and, and actually rendered at runtime. You'll need Scrape Owl for that too, because that, that's one of the features that Scrape Owl does. So, you don't need Scrape Owl, but there are some features that require it inside of ZimWriter. Now, how do you get set up with Scrape Owl? Let me switch screens here. Here we go. You'll click the Options menu, and you'll click Set Up Scrape Owl. Let me move this over here. Now, you'll see a bunch of stuff in here. Don't worry about this. We'll cover all this stuff later. You're not going to see anything when you first open up ZimWriter. You won't see any of this stuff. Uh, we'll talk about that later in, in the advanced video. You'll see, first of all, this directions link. Click the directions link, read the directions. Directions are important. It explains some different things in here. Now look, this is a magical button. It, it legit is a magical button. If you go to scrapeowl.com, so scrapeowl.com, and you click pricing, this is what you're gonna see. $29 plans a month, $99 plans a month. 95% of you don't need these plans, right? But this is the going rate for most of these scraping products like Scrape Owl, but I negotiated a special deal just for you guys. It's not an affiliate deal. I don't make a single dime on this. They cut a special deal just for ZimWriter people. If you click this button, it will open a page. And then when you click pricing, you see these new magical plans that are hidden and only visible for ZimWriter users. 95% of all ZimWriter users can get away with this plan right here, five bucks a month. It's a monthly plan, it's not pay as you go, but it's insanely cheap for what you're doing. Again, Scrape Owl is not required, not necessary, all right? But some features inside of ZimWriter do need it. I recommend starting the free trial on this. They'll give you, a, you don't even need a credit card. You start the free trial, they'll give you a thousand free credits. You can see if this is something that's important to you. And then after your free trial is over, I think after 30 days or after you use all your credits, you'll be asked to enter your credit card. And then you can pick the, I think you have to pick the $5 plan again. They'll show you what to do. If you ever have any issues with the plans, you just reach out to the Scrape Owl team. They're a great group of people. Okay? So you, you click the button to buy the key. You'll get the key. You'll go into your account. It will give you an API key, just how you, just like how you got an API key for, for OpenAI. Same concept. They'll give you an API key. So you click the button, you'd enter your, your Scrape Owl API key, you'd click OK, it would validate it, and then you'd be all ready to go. Now, there's a, an option down here, a checkbox down here. And this is important if you do the free trial over here, or maybe you subscribe and you no longer want to subscribe anymore. If your subscription for Scrape Owl runs out, ZimWriter will keep trying to use your API key and it will throw an error. So you'd come over here and you'd temporarily disable your Scrape Owl key. This will make it so ZimWriter will not try to use Scrape Owl anymore. It will just try to use your IP when scraping. This is also useful if you're trying to somehow conserve credits for the month and you're not scraping Amazon or Google or YouTube or whatever. You're just scraping some normal sites. In those situations, maybe you don't need Scrape Owl. So you can come in here and just temporarily disable the usage of it to save some credits. We'll talk about all the other complex stuff down here later on in a different video. But that's just how to get started, how to get set up with ZimWriter. And now once you've entered all that information, anytime you scrape something, whether it's in the Penny Arcade, you're putting URLs in, uh, you're selecting YouTube videos, you're, let's see, you're using SERP scraping, it will then use your Scrape Owl account. You can go into your Scrape Owl account and check your credits and all that stuff. So hopefully that helped you get set up with uh, Scrape Owl. If you have any questions whatsoever, drop them in the comments down below or just ask me on the Facebook group. Join the Facebook group. There's 12,000 people in there. Other than that, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.